I ain't much of a conversationalist. More of a... I must admit, I wasn't entirely confident that the bar guest would be taken alive, but if anyone could do it... And now you will do something terrible to the beast? Not necessarily. The barrier protecting Dr. Banner's facility functions on a simple premise. Only demons can pass through it, so all we need is a way to disguise the hunter as a demon. I told you before, I am not turning that dog into a cape. And I told you, it is not a dog. Besides, I don't think a cape will be enough. You wouldn't dare. My hope is that we can synthesize a facsimile of the bar guest's skin to fool the barrier without harvesting the creature itself. This really is a bizarre plan, even for you. If you want to reach the Gamma Accelerator, this is our best and only hope. More importantly, Doctor, is reaching Wanda. I don't like it, but if the creature must be sacrificed for her... Having this much demonic energy concentrated on you, Hunter, is not an insignificant risk. I just hope your collar can withstand... Let me worry about that, Doctor, after you have proven out your plan. Hunter, good to see you. Have you come to vent about Strange's plan? I did my best not to be rude. <laughs> to his face, at least. You do not believe it will work? No, I don't. But I do know that Wanda is on the other side of that barrier, and the Doctor may be our only hope of reaching her. He cares about Wanda, too. Do not forget that. Stark may be after this Gamma Accelerator. But the Doctor is clearly focused on Wanda. That's why I did not rip apart his idea from the beginning. I know we both want the same thing. It could be worse. You could be the one who has to actually wear the dog armor. <laughs> True. You are the guinea pig once again. Thank you for the talk, Hunter. I feel slightly better about our chances. Can we please just get this research going now? Because that thing is looking at me all wrong. The creature is restless. The sooner we start our research, the better. What happens to the creature after you are finished? That is up to you. See that you do not hurt it. I'll do my best. Central is ready to work. We'll cut through that encryption in no time. Now we know what they're up to. The question... Pick a bad guy. Any bad guy. Happy to help. See you soon. Heading to book lab. Are you? Meet you there. Let's get moving. Yeah? Welcome to book club. Yeah, okay. I didn't realize Steve knew the author. I really should have read this when he first asked. Whenever I read this book, I can still hear the General's voice in my head. Hunter. If you ha You good? I am ready. Before we start, I want to welcome Logan to the book club. What did you think of the book? I uh, didn't read it. Okay then, guess I'll start. Steve, I really enjoyed this book. What stood out to you? I know people have different approaches to leading others, but I never considered what drives them to do so. Take Custer. He led from the front and was mostly loved by his troops, but his drive for personal glory affected every choice he made. 
Eventually, Custer picked a fight he couldn't handle. His recklessness led to the death of himself and every soldier he commanded. His mistake was making decisions to elevate his own standing instead of his troops. Makes sense. The better they do, the more he gets credit for leading them to victory. I think the biggest lesson, beyond don't be Custer, is that an outsized ego is a double-edged sword for a leader. Also, you can't just get through life with a pretty face. I thought you didn't read the book. I didn't, but I picked things up from context. I learned more about George Washington from this book than anything I was taught in school. Yeah, that surprised me as well. Before this, I associated him with statues, paintings, and the dustiest parts of American history. But here we see a military leader whose personal ambition was the victory of his army. He was clear-eyed about his goals and knew how to get out of his own way. Washington led from the top, though he kept counsel with various advisors. Once he made a decision, he expected his subordinates to follow his orders. This George Washington reminds me of you. You'd better not say it's the hair. No. You keep counsel at Central. Once you make up your mind, you assign missions to the rest of us. Huh. Leads like George Washington. I'll take it. More than anyone else in the book, Washington believed true leadership is a contract bestowed upon you by those whom you lead. And that's where the book gets its title? Right. The mantle of authority. It's something that augments you. Which brings us to our final profile. We really don't have to do this one. And now, I'm interested. Steve, how long have you bugged me to read this? Not because of the chapter on me. You all know General Philip selected me for the Super Soldier program. For a time, he commanded me in the field, and that's why my profile is in the book. He was kind to say I led by example. Maybe that's how it used to be. But the Avengers isn't a military organization. If I gave Tony an order, he'd laugh in my face. To get anything done, I need the group's consensus. I can't give pretty speeches about the need to sacrifice. I have to show that putting in the effort today will make a better tomorrow. It cannot be as simple as you make it sound. Oh, it never is. It's a constant struggle. And you won't always see eye to eye. Still, I find it's absolutely worth the effort. Leadership you can gain, but trust, that you have to earn. But I find little enjoyment in talking about myself, so yeah, let's end it here. All right, we'll call it here. Next month is, Hunter, do you have any books to suggest? None from the past few centuries. Then Logan could pick the next one. Sure. The Adventures of Crash Morgan Number 5, The Last Queen of Deimos. What is that exactly? It's about a space explorer with a ray gun, a jetpack, and a fishbowl helmet. Travels through space with a robot dog, they get in wacky adventures. That's a classic. A buddy of mine had that in basic. I'm always up for space nonsense. I'm not, but that's the book. I'll give it a shot. I'm not sure why Logan joined Book Club if he's not going to read the books. You are not required to do so. Come on, it's the principle. I'm actually surprised Steve recommended this book. Why? Steve can take a compliment, but he's uncomfortable with praise, especially from someone he respects. What did you think? Hmm. The punch is decent, but there should have been a bigger spread. What well, I meant, what did you think about Book Club? I just told you. Thumbs up for punch, thumbs down for snacks. Well, at least Logan showed up. You did not think he would. I wasn't sure he'd be into Book Club, and I don't know what to expect from that book of his. 
It sounds like one of Nico's movies. She does know how to pick them. Nico has given me an appreciation for... I, I, I think it is called... Schluck? Not you, too. I'm the only Midnight Sun who can't stand that garbage? Seems that way. Guess I'll be skipping future movie nights. Coward. You're lucky there's no fighting in book club. Anyway, you leaving? Yeah, I am done. Peace. Hey, can I ask a favor? You're gonna wear the hell out of the demon child armor, literally and fashionably. Hunter. As I had hoped, the bar guest's dark energy is exactly what we needed to pierce the demonic barrier. What is our next move? I've created a suit of armor from it, tailored to fit you and only you. In theory, it will allow you to walk among the Lilin. I just hope it fits. It certainly looks impressive, doesn't it? I've decided to call it the Demon Child Suit. A very fitting name, Doctor. On many levels. <clears throat> I was hearing a lot of eyes in there, Doc. Thought this was a we scenario going on here. Yes, Tony provided some assistance, of course. Particularly with the name. Yeah, well, forgive me if I'm not used to having my combat suits try and take a bite out of me while I calibrate them. It is an impressive, if not pungent, creation. Speaking of, I suggest you make use of the suit while the components are still... fresh. That should maximize the protections against that infernal barrier. Understood, Doctor. Oh, you are gonna love this. Oh, Hunter, what is that hideous thing you're wearing? Hideous? That's harsh, even for you, Sarah. It, oh, smells. And what is that leathery material it's made of? It looks like it's made from the skin of- Rabid demon dog? Pretty much terrifies me just looking at it. But if it can get Hunter here through that demonic barrier keeping us out of Banner's lab, I can deal with my- Existential terror over Strange's creepy meat suit. Barrier? I thought we discussed this. Oh, we did, Sarah. We just decided to go another way. Hunter, we need to talk. And we need to talk now. So, I see you, Stark, Magic, and Nico are heading to Banner's lab, despite my objections. We are. But I said no. And I said it loud and clear. Well, this is what we have decided to do. Best accept it. It's not like any of you are giving me much of a choice. Sorry, Sarah, but this is not just your decision. Stark, Strange, Nico, Magic, they're all behind this plan. This plan could derail the whole mission. Or it might save us all. Bollocks. I know you have heard this before, but you need to trust us. Uh, I can't stop you, can I? No, you cannot. Fine. Go back to the lab and get Tony's toy. Thank you, Sarah. While you're there, if you happen to encounter Wanda, don't make the mistake of going easy on her. I assure you, she won't hold back on you. I still believe there is hope for her. False hope. Listen, I feel Nico and Magic's pain. I do, but we both know purifying corruption is impossible. 
Wanda is gone. Your only job is to retrieve the Accelerator and come back, safe. Do not sacrifice yourself for someone who is beyond saving. You hear me? Well, at least that armor looks as sturdy as it is macabre. It should give you the protection you need. Good luck out there. I hope Tony's Accelerator is worth it. Looking badass, Hunter. Terrifying. Hey, Hunter. I'm sure Tony won't mind if I install XCOM on Central. For technical research. Tony and Doctor Strange may think they're the epicenter of our operations, but we all know this is where the real magic happened. Yo, Hunter, it's almost game time. Let's prep. Okay, we don't have much time, so I want to run down what you need to do to pull off this purification spell. First and foremost, you gotta say the words to the incantation freaking precisely, like every single syllable needs to be on point. What if I stumble over them? Uh, something bad might happen? Define bad. Oh, I don't know. Like accidentally summoning a huge horde of zombie penguins to descend on New York? But that's why you memorize the words to the incantation. You do remember them, right? A horde of zombie penguins? I thought the only peril this spell could cause was to me. No, like everyone in the Tri-State area could be in trouble if you screw this up. So come on, let me hear you say them. Ego sum tenebris. Et veniunt in domum suamu bet dominus. Uh, and the last line? Domun domini precepta your. Hey, you remembered all your lines. Not sure you would. Maybe we have a shot at saving one after all. <sighs> okay, there are a few more important details we need to go over. First off, don't say the incantation before you see Wanda. You have to wait until she's in sight for it to work, okay? Got it. When you do start to say it, she should start to become... disoriented. You're gonna have to repeat it three times before she's gonna be subdued enough for you to drain the corruption from her. Absorbing that much dark energy into your body is gonna be... Uh, intense. I just want to make sure you're up to it. My only concern is bringing back Wanda in one piece. Just don't forget to take care of yourself in the process. Remember, the only person in recorded history who managed to remove corruption died doing it. I do not need reminding of that. Right, sorry. I want Wanda back more than anything. I just don't want you to fall trying to get her back. I've already lost enough people I care about. Losing people is something we, sadly, both know too well. <laughs> yeah, well, I wish a history of trauma wasn't part of our shared experiences, but at least we have something in common. So, this is it, huh? Just wanted to say, I believe in you, Hunter. You got this. Thanks, Nico. Now? Bring our girl home. Oh, and Hunter, if for some reason the spell doesn't work, please don't hurt her. No matter what happens, remember, Wanda is still in there. 
somewhere. You're a woman of many talents. That will serve you well. You're pretty awesome yourself, Hunter. Uh, is that the doggy armor Strange tailored for you? How does it look? You have to ask. Well, it makes me feel like Vlad the Impaler. Ferocious and formidable. How you feel is all that really matters. But I was thinking more along the lines of ridiculous, not unlike Strange's plan. I thought she wanted us to find a way to break back in the Banner's lab. I do. I just think wearing a Hellhound skin to bypass a demonic barrier is something you'd only see in one of Nico's zombie movies. I thought that would be a reason you would like the plan. What? Because Nico likes to make me watch bad movies with her? Movie nights are Nico's thing. Besides, I prefer plans that aren't based on fiction. But if on the off chance you happen to breach the barrier and make your way in, maybe I can find a way to help you out. What do you mean? I don't give a damn about the Accelerator, but I do give a damn about Wanda. So if wearing that monstrosity gets us closer to her, I will do everything in my power to help get her back. Promise me you will do the same. I swear. Good. Now get out of here. And don't come back until you bring back my friend. Be careful out there, Hunter. I want both you and Wanda back safe. I still cannot believe I am letting you go through with this. I cannot believe that smell. Oh, that. Genuine pine. Ran out of new car and vanilla Nella. You're welcome. Are you ready? Someone is. She has been all over me ever since I put this thing on. Yes, there may be some familiarity between your hound and several of the components we procured to create your suit. Right. Shutting up. Stay there, girl. I will be home soon. I will hold it open for as long as I can, but... You told me. One-way trip. Something must be generating that barrier. Take it out, and I swear we'll get you home. Any time now! better than to jump in a strange portal. How did you get past all that demonic energy? Right. Of course. Demon dog, demon energy. Well, now that you're here, just lead the way.
believe that machine is the source of our demonic barrier problem. Now, I will deactivate it, and you will be incredibly quiet. Agreed? Give me that look, Charlie. I have seen you run from your own tail. I was not expecting someone to be in the machine. Lilith must be desperate if these are her best. Not much has changed among the world's fanatics. Leave some for the rest of us. Banner has delved into the darkest magics to create this technological monstrosity. Let us hope some corner of his mind is still his own. Loyalty to the mother of demons will be your undoing. Destroy that machine before they send even more to defend it. This should be a great help. is mine. They are being reinforced. 
reinforced. Understand why you do not jump headlong into every portal you see? Did I say I do not appreciate the help? Once again, the lift's servants fall. Not lost focus yet. for a challenge. Return to your mother. We are not out of the woods yet. 